Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Dennis. Today we're going to talk about hooking up your connections from your computer case to your motherboard. The LEDs or the little connectors that is what connects your USB to the front of the uh, computer case or, or your USB 3.0 and, and your audio and all that kind of good stuff. It can be one of the trickiest parts to building a computer simply because people don't know where they go or how they work. So in this video, we're going to show you exactly what that is. I've done it in other videos. Maybe I haven't explained it quite as well. But this one, we're going to explain it perfectly. Hope you enjoy. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is identify on your motherboard where your um, connector is for connecting your front panel. So when you look on here, right here, okay, it shows you. Okay, so you have your power LED and it shows you positive and negative, but yeah, it's hard to see. And your power button and all your other keys, but like I say, it's hard to see there. But one thing it does tell you if you look on it, is right on the bottom here it says JFP1 and then of course on top it says JPF2 so GPF2 is this one here okay so say JPF2 and that's basically just your speaker okay so if you have a speaker um, that comes with your case or whatever that you can plug in there so you can hear your beep codes and all that kind of good stuff that's going to plug in there but more importantly is this one here which is your J FP1. So that basically stands for your jumper for your front panel one, which is going to be your how to turn your computer on and all off, all that kind of good stuff. So what's an easier way to show you that? Well, I have the solution and you can get this with some computers. Usually the ones I've had were ACES, but in this case, it has the same pin layout. So I'm just going to show you this. All right. So you can see that pin layout and on the back of this one it shows your ground yeah, sorry I'm just gonna try and get that so the solution to that is this okay so I'm just gonna focus in on this so this is the way your configuration would be on the motherboard okay so you've got all your pins and as you look at it from the other side you can see your power, your positive and negative, your ground, which in this motherboard, like I just said, your speaker is separate from the front panel connectors. So when you turn it around, you're going to have your hard drive, LED. Now it says positive and negative. Okay, so plug it in that way. But if you reverse those, it's not going to matter. The one that does matter is your power and your ground button. Okay, because if it does not there, it's just simply not work. Don't worry about these pins are bent or anything like that. This is just something to demonstrate how this would sit on your board. Okay, so that just shows your pin layout and what they would be if you were looking at the board. Of course, this is much, much bigger than what's on your board, which as you can see here, it's very tiny. Okay, now I've got this max magnification just so you can see that so you can imagine how small that must be so what are the different connectors that are going to be coming from your computer case now in this case you've got your USB 3.1 all right now that connector has a little little divot here and of course you can see the pin layout and basically you're going to look on your motherboard for that layout so you've got one here and you've got another one that goes this direction right here okay so on this one, you can see it better because you can see a little cutout. So you're going to just plug it in just like that and you just push it in and it'll, it'll go in. Now, once it's all the way in, because I had to push it a little bit more, you'll see that this is all the way in. There's, there should be no real gaps here. And then if you want to change it up and put it in the other one, you can do the exact same thing. Okay, so that, of course, the other end of this goes to your computer case. All right, now it'll be already affixed to the case, so it's going to be already attached. So I'm just showing you the individual cables one by one so you know how to do them. So one of the other cables you'll have on your case is your USB. 
it'll have all the different uh, VOC, D plus and minus. Don't worry about that so much. All you got to do is look at the layout of how these pins are. Okay, there's going to be a missing one on here. And then you just have to find it on your motherboard. Okay, so it's going to be your USB on your motherboard. So it's right down here. And I'll focus in on that so you can see it. So now when you're looking on your motherboard, you can see where it's labeled. It says USB 1, USB 2. Now in this case, it says J USB 1, U USB 2. Don't worry about that. Basically, as long as it's got the same key configuration where you're missing the little uh, piece on the end here and you line up your cable the same way, it's going to go in. All right. So what I'm talking about when I say that is you've got a little blank spot. See that little blank spot? So when you plug them in, make sure that they line up. Make sure they go in the blank space to the blank space and you'll be good to go. And I'll just show you how that's done as well. And it's just going to go on just like this. And it just pushes down and that's it and you're plugged in okay so the next cable you're going to be able to see is your h audio okay again you're going to look at your pin layout see where the blank space is now on this motherboard it's right down here and usually it'll say j odd one which is your audio so that's the audio that's going to be controlled from your motherboard and you're going to want to plug it in the same way as you would a usb but just make sure you don't plug in the wrong one because they're not the same. Okay, and again, we'll just connect it and I'll show you how that's done. So again, look at your little blank spot. Make sure you look to see where it is here. And on this motherboard, the blank space is just right on the end here. So you find your blank space and you just plug it in. Now just, you kind of got to wiggle it around a little bit to make sure you're in the right spot. And then you'll feel it go in, and then you just push down. And then that's that'll be your audio. Again, this cable will be connected to your case. Okay, so when you're looking at all the cables that come with your case, of course, you've got your speaker, your hard drive LED, your ground for your power LED. Now, usually that will say power LED positive and power LED negative. Okay, this one's just a little bit different. And then you have your power switch and your reset switch. Now, when you plug those in, and you're wondering, okay, well, how do I know which one is positive and which one's negative? So you look at the other side. So when you look on the other side, you see these little arrows? Well, those arrows are where it's positive. So that's how you can tell. So when you connect it and it says positive or negative, that's how you know which one's positive. And again, you connect that to your motherboard the same as you would otherwise. Now, this motherboard is different, of course, because it's an MSI motherboard. And the connector that I showed you here was for an ASUS. But basically, they're pretty much the same. They're not, there's not a whole lot of difference. So when you're looking at your motherboard, you're trying to figure out where it is. Make sure you check your little diagram if there is one on your motherboard. They don't all have that on the motherboard. A lot of newer manufacturers are putting it on. But if not, refer to your motherboard manual. Look for the uh, JFP1 or JFP2. It's going to be one of those two. Usually it's going to be your JFP1 and JFP2 might be just your speaker. Okay, so look and see which it, where it tells you it's going to be plugged into and just go ahead and do that. So for the purpose of this, it's easier for me to show you on the little example I've got. So I'm going to, ahead and, going to go ahead and do that. So as you can see this, you've got your hard drive, LED, positive and negative. Like I said, it really doesn't matter. Your power and your ground and your reset switch. So on your cables, you're just going to find those. So let's see. I'll give you a hard drive here. So we go hard drive. Now I say positive and negative. Look at your arrow. Your arrow is your positive. All right. And your positive is on the left-hand side. So you're just going to plug it in. And it should just go on just as simple as that. Okay. We're not going to worry about the speaker. I will do this. Well, I will do the speaker right now. And then we'll just turn it around. So your speaker, so when you're putting in your speaker, you can go ahead and put that on. It's on the other side. And you're just going to find out where it's at and you're going to put it in the exact same way. So now we've got our PLED, positive and negative, positive and negative, and our power switch and our reset switch. That's all that's left, power and your reset. So you're going to look at the remaining cables that you've got. 
Okay, so we got the resets. Which which one does that go on? Pretty simple. It's going to go on here. And you just slide it in. Okay. And now we have our power. Now this is the only one that really matters. So make sure when you put your power, you find that little arrow for your positive. And your positive on this one is the bottom one. So positive. So you're going to turn it on. See, now it's going on upside down. That's okay. Because that's the way the cable goes and that's where it's going to go in. Can you see that arrow there a little bit better? And now we've only got this one left. So push that in just a little bit more. And we're going to turn it around. So what's left here? you got your PLED. So one is the positive. So you're going to look for the one with the arrow. Okay, so you just put that on and push it on. And then you're just going to do the other one. Now we're doing a computer build. This is really difficult to show somebody. All right, so that's how your connections are going to be. And of course, when they're on your computer, okay, when you're on your motherboard, they're in there like that. And then, of course, the other end connects to your computer case. Okay, so I hope that helps somebody out there. Don't be intimidated by it. Um, connecting the cables for the very first time when you've done it, you're always worried about, did I put it in the right spot? Where am I connecting it? So that's why I say you want to make sure you check your motherboard itself. See if there's a little diagram on there that shows you where to connect everything and how to connect it in the right spots. If you're uncertain, even a little bit, refer to your motherboard manual. Okay, You should do that anyway until you get used to doing it, just so you make sure you're putting it in the right place. Because if you put it in the wrong place, you possibly could short out your motherboard or something along that line, and you don't want to do that. Okay, Or, I mean, in some cases, um, it just simply won't work. It'll just it won't power on. And then you just go to around. But honestly, I've done it myself and I've done it the wrong way. It doesn't, hasn't affected it. Doesn't mean it won't affect it. So make sure you know how to do it. Do it the right way. Follow what I've shown you. Hopefully this will help you some to some extent. Uh, be careful not to bend any of the pens. And that's it. So keep those things in mind. Where to connect everything. And you should be fine. And basically all, once all those connectors are on there... Now you've got your USB 3.0 connectors on the front of your case are active and working. Uh, your USB for the rest of your motherboard when you plug in the USB are now working. That's how everything on your case works in conjunction with the motherboard. So it's just a uh, good thing to know. So that's pretty much it. I hope you like this video. If you like it, hit that like. Consider subscribing. Uh, if you're a YouTube creator yourself, I've got TubeBuddy there. YouTubeBuddy is a fantastic program for starting YouTubers or even experienced YouTubers because what it will do is it gives you the suggested tags so you can be found in the search results faster. It'll help you compare yourself with other competitors and see, okay, well, why did they get more looks than me or more views than me? The depth of knowledge is, is vast. I highly suggest getting that program. You can get the free version and then upgrade later on if you want to do that. There's a link on my YouTube channel to click on and that helps me out a little bit. It'll also take you to TubeBuddy so you can get started. Right? Again, if you like it, think about subscribing, hit that like. If you don't, well, you know what to do. And consider leaving me a comment to help me out on how I can get a little bit better. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for my next one.